Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. <laughs> Alright, so I just had a discussion with a friend of mine. You know, I want you guys to understand something. I never say eliminate fear and live an awesome life. I say break through fear and live an awesome life. Yes, I do have some natural abilities to do that because I've just been that way as a kid. You know, starting with the day my brother and his friend dared me to drive, ride the bike down Dead Man's Hill. And when I hit the ramp at the bottom, went airborne and went flying into the dirt. <laughs> Sometimes being fearless <laughs> isn't the smartest thing to do. But see, I have a great story to tell you. And I survived it. Yeah, he got in a lot of trouble. But uh, that's beside the point. Sometimes you just got to go down dead man's hill. And I do that a lot. But I want to share something with you because I had this discussion today. And I just want to reinforce that it is scary for me. Don't think I don't get the butterflies when I go down Dead Man's Hill. And if I had to go down it again, it would, it would, you know, there would be some major triggers. Let's say next time I go, I know how to hit that ramp and land safely, but I still know that there's some danger involved. But I still want the thrill of going down Dead Man's Hill. And this time I'll have brakes. I didn't have brakes on the bike. They sort of didn't tell me that. Brothers, I don't know. So, if I were to do that, I mean, let's talk about like even actors. Even though they've done it before and they survived, right? They get the butterflies and they some of them feel sick. Some of them throw up before they go on stage. Yet they've done it a thousand times and they do beautifully. There's a lot of pressure to do something really awesome. There's a lot of pressure to live an awesome life because that means you're going to have to step outside of the box. Now, I have some people that make comments, rarely, maybe one, <laughs> maybe two, and I have to really filter them because some of them are just so ridiculously negative. And I think, here's a person so caught up in their negativity that they find their identity by discouraging others, by saying that's not possible, by saying, well, blah, 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 and you know, going into this whole debate thing. And that's their identity of being a negative limiting person. That's the ego that they identify with. They actually are connecting to that self-limiting personality. And then they wonder why they don't have abundance and everything else. And then they, of course, criticize those who do and say that we're ridiculous. You want to be ridiculous with me? I think you do. I think you're ready for ridiculous. All right, so I had to stockpile some videos because I was going to take this week off to be with a friend of mine, actually a former client of mine, who is a former NASA engineer when she was in high school. <laughs> yeah, she's one of those brilliant people. She worked on Apollo 11 and Apollo 12. Not Apollo 13. She's not responsible for that one. And um, she also worked on the missile guidance systems, helped develop missile guidance systems for uh, the United States. <sighs> Don't judge her, <laughs> right? So, you know, a lot of these people, they have talents and they come to the table and they do things and they create wonderful things and it's up to us how we use them. I want you to remember that. Everything in your life, everything you have, everything is available to you, everything you access, it's all up to you how you use it. And you can sit in your corner and criticize other people who step out of the box and say, oh, that's a bunch of malarkey. Then turn the channel off. Turn it off. But you know why you don't? Because you know I'm right. Because you know deep down you are part of one particle that's split off into multiple facets. And you're part of that facet that I come from that is fearless. Still fears, fears has fears, but moves past it, breaks fast past it. All right? Breaks past the fears. And that's a part of you too. So you're mesmerized. You want to hear because you know it's true. 
You want somebody to convince you, but you're so in your negative space and identifying with that, that's your facet, that's your journey. It doesn't help any of us, by the way, because you're just dragging down the universal frequency. But that's okay, you'll get there eventually. Those of you who are on that track now, well, it's whatever you do with all of the things that you have. And what you don't see visibly available to you now, you can create. It all exists on every dimension, on every timeline. Everything exists right now. Everything you've ever wanted. Every lifestyle. Now, first of all, I, I, you know, I did a video and like by the end of the video, I had black under here. Obviously, I didn't have waterproof, so if you see me do this, it's because I just don't want to look like a clown by the end of the video. I posted it anyways. I went past the ego and said, the message is more important than the black under my eyes. Everything's a choice, right? Everything's a choice. Are you willing to do things that a society may say is a failure? Are you willing to explore, explore the unknown? Because almost everything in our world is truly the unknown. The power that truly exists in us, we don't see. But you do feel it. And when you're unhappy in your life, and you're not really living it to the fullest, and you look at society and whatever they're telling you, and what you should or shouldn't be, or you step outside of your comfort zone, and you do something and it, it feels really uncomfortable, that's when you're mostly empowered. So my NASA friend comes and she spends the week with me and we started to brainstorm because I said, I need to take my life to the next level. And so we put together some deals, some opportunities that, by the way, those of you who think which people are supposed to save the homeless and I don't adhere to that, I think we all have our own journey and we decide whether or not we use the tools available. We are actually creating tools for that. We have something really powerful that we're, we've already created that we're going to release that is going to be unbelievably beneficial for the homeless, for veterans, for children, um, for many, many other uses. And um, we're going to empower them to help themselves. But again, these are all our own journeys, and we have to allow each other to do that. And also, I got an email from somebody who said his brother, you know, wants to do the whole success thing and money and whatever, and then he wants to do something completely opposite. And of course, there's this, you should be doing this, and then you should be doing that. There's still disapproval going both ways, by the way. That's the success path that's right for, for your brother. It's not right for you. And by the way, you might find out he's right later on. Maybe you needed to get a little stability and education. But that's okay if you don't want to do that and you go after your dreams and your passion. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the success story. You won't know until you try it. So I've been taking, I want to take my life, my career, my whatever. I want to take everything to the next level. So I ask for acceleration. Be careful when you do that. Whew. Everything's like, shows up. And uh, sure enough, uh, sat down, collaborated with some brilliant people and realized we're actually really going to do this. We're going to launch this thing, which means I have to go back in front of my computer and start pulling together a lot of things that I used to do as an investment banker, the world that I walked away from so that I could do this in my internet marketing that allows me freedom, that puts me online. You guys see this all the time. If you're interested, sign up because as of this date, September 1st, 2017, prices will go up because this stuff's getting really popular and they're putting some awesome new stuff in there. <sighs> if you're interested in changing your life, I explore things that are very different that most people go, oh, that's, that's a scam or that doesn't work or that. And I say, you know what, have you tried it? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? But then occasionally I run into that where I have to ask myself, what are you afraid of? And I ran into it this week, and I actually talked to my friend about this, and I said, I don't know what it is, but I really had some stuff show up. 
it was a trigger back to my investment banking days, the, the, the world that I'm trying to get away from that was very unstable in so many ways. And also triggered all the stuff that I don't want to do that doesn't connect to my higher consciousness. And that's not what I'm doing at all, but I'm, I'm going into that world again under my terms this time. And I got these feelings that weren't good. And they're, it's fear. It's fear. And so the discussion today was, you know, Christ had doubt. Christ doubted where, you know, you have, you have forsaken me. He got angry. Christ had human feelings. Buddha had human feelings. All the great prophets have had human feelings. The Dalai Lama has human feelings. It's what you do with it. And that's why I always say, break through fears to live an awesome life. Because it's the fears that will stop you from living that awesome life. And you have to break through them. And I have to live that every day too, by the way. And yes, I've accomplished a lot. And yes, I've gotten to a certain frequency. And yes, a lot is happening. But I'm telling you, it never stops. You will never stop getting challenged. You will never stop experiencing some of the triggers that bring up the old stuff. And then you know how to look at it this time. And sometimes you have to just say, okay, I need to identify that. Where's that coming from? Because you want to listen to your heart. Go with your heart. Logic can overrule that in a negative way. Logic still has to be used at, to some extent, of course. We do live in a real world with, you know, as real as we create. Actually, it's not real. It's holographic. I'll do that video next. Everything's exactly what you want it to be. Know that. So if you're living in fear and you have some triggers, like I experienced this week, I meditated four hours intermittently. I do like an hour to two hours at a time. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and meditated. I'm like, I need to really look at this and say, where's this coming from? I want to make sure it's not something that I am getting a message that I need to avoid. And I thought, wait a minute. No, everything about all of the things I'm working on are so right because I ask for acceleration. I ask to take everything to the next level and it's happening. And then with that comes the challenges of leaving that place that you were in to go to this place up here. And that can be very scary. It can also be empowering. And when you go there, and you step over, it's not as frightening. Once you do it, it's like, wow, okay. This feels, feels pretty good. And yeah, I'm taking some risks. I'm doing some stuff that, you know, I don't know where it's going to lead me. And you should never define that. You, never, you should never tell the universe how that comes to you. I never expected to be doing what we're doing. And then I realized, not only am I doing this, part of my wish list, my manifesting, of my creation, I shouldn't say wish, I don't, I don't wish on anything, I, you know, I, I just know. So part of my I am is whatever I was doing had to bring value to the world. And you'd say, well, internet marketing, no, it's bringing value to the world. I'm helping people change their lives. I'm helping people find a different way of life like I did, to get away from the heart palpitations, the 24-7 that's never going to end. It never gets better. And then you retire and some of these people have lost their portfolios or they still have to keep working. When you take charge and you go into that unknown zone, yes, do your research, check things out. It's never going to feel 100% this is the way to go. This is it. I mean, sometimes it feels that way, but that may not last. And that's okay. That doesn't mean what you're going into is wrong. So ask yourself, your higher self, your guides, your, your, you know, mentors, your whatever. What, go to the higher frequencies and say, I need some guidance. I need some signs. But the bottom line is, it's always, sometimes you don't hear things because the answer is, this is always going to be your decision. And the, there isn't a wrong one. Stop listening to other people, but... Breaking past the fear means I might have to do something that scares the heck out of me. But I know I have to do it because if I stay in this place here, 
I won't go to here. And then when you go there and the doors start opening, you go, wow, okay, it's still a little scary, but I did it and I'm doing it and I just changed my life. And the whole universe, your whole reality will shift into another dimension. Another reality kicks in in every split second. Depending on what you're even thinking. So, are you willing to break past that fear? And then when that fear shows up, recognizing it and say, this is not my heart speaking. I know I want to do these things. That's the reason why I'm going into this zone of whatever it is you want to do in the first place. And then you get the fear, maybe when you start to go into it or triggers other things. Really just look at where that's coming from. And don't have that knee-jerk reaction. Oh, feels bad. I'm not going to do it. That's it. I'm walking. Every entrepreneur, anybody who's been extremely successful at what they've gone after, has had to deal with all of these feelings. And I want to share that with you because that's exactly how people become successful. They break past the fears. And you can do the same thing. Whether it's the internet marketing, whether it's something else you want to pursue, you can find a way to do it. And when you go for it, and you know it's already done, things will start to show up that support that. But when you have the fear and the doubt, and you're not quite committed to it, the universe won't be committed to you either. Because that's your message, is that I don't truly feel good about this, I truly don't believe, and instead of going after what you know you need to do to change your life, you're listening to the fear. So that bad feeling is just the fear. So recognize that and know you can't make a mistake. You cannot make a mistake. I've spent a lifetime not making mistakes. <laughs> not making mistakes. <laughs> Even when others might say things failed. So just give that some thought. Ask yourself right now, how do you want to live your life? I know the number one thing everybody wants is to feel really good every day. And that is possible. And the way you can do that is living a life that fulfills you, that gives you purpose. One where even sometimes when you're not doing the fun stuff, you know you're doing the right stuff. Bringing value to you, your family, the world. It could be just bringing value to your family. And a happy person come home, coming home to the family, doing what they love, is extremely valuable. Everyone will benefit from that. And it's not always about the money. It's about having freedom and being able to live an awesome life. I'm sending you light and love. And say this mantra. See if it works for you. I am whole, I am perfect, I am strong, I am powerful, I am loving, I am harmonious, I am happy. And then I thank the universe, the one, for sending miracles to me and all of the answers that I need every day. I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for you. I send you light, love, and blessings, and abundance. Namaste.